Chopo's ready for his next 15 minutes of fame. Don't, don't shy away from the camera. Just stay with me. <laughs> hey you guys, so today we're going to be talking all about brows. I'm going to be using all Benefit products, and just to let you guys know, this video is sponsored, so if you're not cool with that, here's your heads up. Benefit's philosophy to the perfect brows is relating it back to the perfect bra, which should have shape, volume, and lift. So I'm going to be going over those three categories today and teaching you guys how I do my brows. Let's do this. So I'm going to go ahead and start by shaping the brow, and basically what we're doing here is we're adding in color to basically start to define a shape to our brow. So I'm going to start by taking a little spoolie brush, which is just basically a clean mascara brush. You usually find them on the end of brow pencils. And I'm just going to brush through my brow hair, and I'm basically going to brush it upwards. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I can't really see the shape very well if my hair is all brushed down like this and crazy. I don't really know what I'm doing. So we're going to brush it up so it's nice and out of the way. And then I'm going to start to lightly define my brows with a powder. So I'm going to be taking the brow zings in light, and I'm just going to be taking the powder, not the wax, and I'm going to start to go through the front of my brows. And I'm taking a small little angle brush, and basically just starting at the bottom of the natural brow line, so where my brows start to grow on the bottom, I'm going to be drawing a line. And I'm just filling it in like that, and then I'm going to flick upwards to start to disperse that product. Again, we're basically always moving our brush in the way that our hair grows. So if my hair is growing down like this, that's the way I want to move my brush, if that makes sense. Rather than kind of going back through the brows in some kind of weird way, it's just not going to work out for you. So it's a lot easier to just follow your brush strokes the way that your hair naturally grows. And every once in a while, I'm going to take my spoolie and I'm just going to brush through to get rid of excess product. A lot of times when people are starting to kind of fill in their brows and they've never done it before, they're like, holy crap, this is so intense, this is like, I have the darkest Groucho Marx brows ever, and it's usually just because you have a little bit too much product in there, so if you just continue to brush it out, you know, take care of your brow, you know what I'm saying? So just continuing to fill that in, and I'm honestly just following kind of what my natural growth is, and over here you can see I don't have a lot of growth. Um, so I'm just kind of, I'm just kind of winging it over on that edge. So there you have it. We have our basic shape kind of drawn out there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the instant brow pencil in deep and I'm actually just going to run it along the edge of a brush like this. And basically, we're picking up the product on the brush to get a more precise line. So this is kind of nice for those of you that maybe don't want to go out and pick up a million different brow products. You can just literally get a brow pencil use the pencil part through the front and brush it out and then add it to a brush to get a more defined line on the outer corner. So that's just what I'm doing. I'm just taking it and adding a little bit of depth over here. So as I said, I don't have a ton of growth on my outer brow area there. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that pencil on a brush <laughs> and I'm going to use that cream product to just fill it in a little bit more because basically when you don't have hair growing there it's going to be a little bit harder to almost fake the appearance of that darkness so if I was to just use a powder, it wouldn't appear as dark as the hair does over here. If you don't have hair growing there, it's going to be pretty obvious with a powder. That's what I'm trying to get at. So when it comes to shaping the brows, I find it really important to pay attention to how I'm holding my brush. And what I mean by that is that when you're going in and shaping, especially with a cream product, this is going to be a lot more obvious, you don't want to hold your brush like this. What that's going to do is it's going to basically get you all sloppy, you're not going to be able to really see where your brush is kind of applying your product. So what you want to do instead is instead of holding the brush like this, tilt it more like this so it's almost completely perpendicular. And then you'll be able to get a better view of where your product is being applied and you won't have as much slip up where it's kind of like you're getting product down where you don't want it. This seems really obvious but I remember when I was working in retail and I would get people to kind of show me how they were doing their brows to see what kind of issues they might be having. A lot of people were kind of holding their brush like this all wonky or trying to go in with the tip of the angle brush. No, 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 just stop. It's not going to work. So holding the brush completely perpendicular and you're using the full length of the brush. Don't try and just use the tip like that. Don't try and just use the edge. Like use the full flatness of the brush and the brush will do the work for you. 
it's also going to help you to get a way straighter line. I know that sometimes people are kind of like, oh, they're trying to use this little tip to get this perfectly straight line, but that's not going to work out for you. If you just let the brush do the work for you and you have it completely flat and just drag it along, it's going to create the most perfect, precise line as opposed to if you're trying to use the little tip like that. It's just not going to happen, girl. So what I like to do now, and you guys are going to be like, wow, this is so counterproductive, but I like to take a little brush that I use to buff out my concealer, and I like to just brush through my brows a tiny bit. And the reason why is because I want to break up that product just a little bit more. So next I'm going to go in with one of my all-time favorite brow products, and that is the Gimme Brow in Dark. Whoop. And what this is, is a cream product with a little baby brush. And it basically just adds a ton of volume to your brow. So it's going to coat the brow hair almost like a mascara would. And I love this product for so many different reasons. If I don't really want to do my brows, but I'm like looking really not so hot and I want to run out and grab groceries or whatever, and I just want to do something quick, I'll just literally brush this through my naked brows and be like, good to go. If my brows just aren't looking quite right and maybe like it just feels like it's a little bit patchy or something, I'll usually just swipe this through quickly and it just kind of helps it to look more put together. Sometimes I'll do like a really defined edge and just put Gimme Brow through the front and I really really love how that looks. It looks really epic. So yeah, I use it in a number of different ways but today we're just going to be brushing it through the front half and basically I just start at the bottom and brush all the way through. And I'm not pushing hard with this. I'm literally not even touching the skin. I'm just grabbing the brow hair only. And again, I'm just brushing upwards in the direction that my hair grows. And then when we get towards the ends here, I start to brush sideways. So now I'm just gonna quickly take Speed Brow, which is just uh, a setting brow gel. And it just keeps the hairs in place. Again, if I'm not really doing my brows that day, I'll still usually put some brow set in just because otherwise my eyebrows just go all over the place it's really not a good look for me my camera died briefly anyway this next part is my favorite part because it really brings it all together for me um, and that is using highbrow this basically what I'm gonna do with this is three things kind of in one I'm gonna be lifting the brow by adding that kind of highlight to the brow bone I'm gonna be cleaning up any edges that maybe aren't looking so fun and lastly I'm going to be just kind of redefining our shape so I'm going to be taking highbrow glow which has a little bit of shimmer to it they do have just the regular highbrow which doesn't have any shimmer but I was like ugh. Fuck it, my makeup's looking a little crazy today anyway, so let's go for the shimmer. So anyways, I'm going to be taking that on a little tiny brush, and I'm just going to be, again, adding it to the edge of the brush here. And I'm going to be applying that right underneath the brow. So just really making that a super nice, sharp edge. Adding in a little bit of that shimmer. And this is also, sometimes I'll kind of draw on the shape a little wacky, and this is really how I go in and kind of clean it up. So I'm only going to take it to about the center of the front of the brow here. I'm not going to bring it all the way over, um, because I don't really need it cleaned up over there anyways, and I don't want it to be super shimmery over there. And then I'm actually going to take the whole pencil and just apply it right underneath the arch there for a little bit of that shimmer, and just diffuse the edges with a brush, just like that. What's up, girl? What's up? So yeah, that is our finished brow. So that is everything, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something cool today. Last but certainly not least, Benefit wanted to offer you guys a giveaway so you could win your own brow products. You have three entries, which are Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. I'll add all of the details in the description box below. Alright, guys. Until next time. Peace out.